We're doing it. We're going strong. It's been about 13 months since the last time I was here. We did the uh, Tate Crazy Nights show. Is the lady that won that night, Kat, is she here? Shit, maybe she's passed away. <laughs> I really did hope that she would, uh, you know, come out today so we could acknowledge her because she was on stage with Jeff Tate and uh, Dale Cheeseman and uh, she won. She was the winner that night. And um, at that night I said, whichever city has the biggest crowd on this tour, I'm going to go back to like almost immediately. Like I'll come back in like three months. And, you know, I said that to you guys. And, <laughs> and this place was sold out. But unfortunately, there was another city that had a bigger club. So, the, so exactly. Boo. <laughs> It was total bullshit, but I'm super happy to be back, and I'm glad you guys are here, and uh, we're going to have a, a really good time today. It's Saturday, February 2nd, 2019, the day before the Super Bowl, but what I'd like to see is some super name tags. Dallas always kicks ass in the name department, a name tag department, except for that one guy right there. Oh, I love how you took your design down. Like, oh. now, I saw that one on the internet today, and that is that is the most basic photoshopping I think I've ever seen. Oh, well, you blame it on the wife? Yeah, of course you do. Son of a bitch. Wow, there's one way in the back that is beautifully lit up. That's a good job lighting it up. Still can't read it, but boy, is that good. And then I saw this Jesse boy. Saw that on the internet. He took Tommy boy, changed it to Jesse boy put my face on Chris Farley, which is just like a real good, you know, like, hey, Doug, watch your, watch what you eat. <laughs> it's bad enough as it is. Don't get, don't get that size. But I was very excited to see a Tommy Boy reference because I'm going to do a thing with uh, Paramount and a company in Canada where there's going to be an opportunity for you to watch Tommy Boy with me live on your computer. We'll all watch it together and talk about it, I guess. I've never done it. I haven't done it yet, but uh, I'll be promoting it like crazy over the next few months because it's in April. But anyway, so many great name tags. Thank you guys for bringing those. You can go ahead and put them down now. Uh, <laughs> you changed eighth grade to eighth George? Yeah. Oh, Jeff. Well, that's, that's not so bad. Eighth Jeff. <laughs> it's a woman who's been with too many Jeffs. <laughs> Doug Plugs. Be sure to check out my three other podcasts, Doug Loves Minis, Dining with D&K, and Getting Doug with Hi. You might be glad you did. <laughs> next Saturday, February 9th, I'm doing stand-up at 420 at the Punchline in Sacramento. And then the next day at the Punchline in Sacramento, the old sack punch, I'm doing a Doug Loves Movies. Both shows are at 420. And then I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina at Good Nights at 420 on uh, February 16th. For all of my dates, go to DougLovesMovies.com. <laughs> You guys are doing everything perfect today. I don't know what's up. <laughs> uh, 
I brought some fun stuff for the prize bag, I like to think. I got somewhere along in my travels, I got a bag that's got a ghost on it. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> um, oh, the last show from Los Angeles, there was a lady that was on that had donated a lot of money to save the Yorkies. And so she got to be a guest. Her name was Rebecca Laws. And for the prize bag, she brought a copy of Scavenger Hunt. And then after the show, she came up to me and said, and I brought a copy of Scavenger Hunt for you. And I took it, and I was like, in my head, that's going in the next prize bag. <laughs> and now she's going to hear that, and I, I hope she's all right with it. Uh, she's gonna, I'm in trouble next time I go to Seattle. Um, a Doug Lowe's Movies t-shirt. Those are hard to get through uh, customs. A, uh, oh, this is fun. I got this from the uh, Funko Pop uh, people. A, uh, it's, it's like a really, I mean, I don't know why you'd ever wear this, but it's a, it's a little baby Pennywise with fucking scary teeth. And uh, so that's a pretty good shirt, too. And then, oh, got room service today. Didn't use the ketchup, so it's an adorable little ketchup. I mean, because they'd have to throw it out, right? They wouldn't give it to the next person, or maybe they would. It's unopened. Oh, I know how to open things and make them look unopened. I've been smoking weed for more than 15 years. And a uh, Doug Lowe's movie sticker. All of that from me, plus stuff from... Holy shit, are we happy that all of these gentlemen are in Texas right now? Because these are three of my favorite guests and very funny men. Please give it up for Adam Ray, Joe DeRosa, and Chris Cubis! Share that table, my table. I'll share my table with you. Oh, Go thanks, ahead. Doug. Yeah. You what do you it. got there? What is that? Just a little, uh, little coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is not a little coffee. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a serious amount of coffee. I have a heart attack up here. There was a bigger option they offered me. You know what? I know. This is Let's a great table story. that. <laughs> we'll talk about that in about 90 minutes. <laughs> It's probably a good call. <laughs> but let's introduce them individually, starting with the man I've already been speaking to. It's Adam Ray, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because I already feel bad for these people seated against the, the wall over here because they get, at best, they get my shoulder and part of your face. Yeah. And then the other, the other guests are just a mystery. So I always, I always <laughs> feel bad. So I always try to like go as close to the back as possible, but also there's a crack between the stage and the wall. So if oh, you go fuck. back too far, you're tear will fall into it. So be careful, gentlemen. Adam is headlining uh, two shows here tonight. You've been yeah. here all weekend. You having a good time? Having a great time. A lot of fun people come into this club. A lot of fun people. And there. some really fucked up ones. <laughs> People yeah. like to, you know, when there's a train station outside, people can get shit hammered. Yeah, you're going to get every type of person getting off that train. <laughs> it's almost like, uh, it's like the, the train station is, is like very Walmart-esque. Uh, <laughs> where you just, you see a type of person, you're like, oh, I forgot we had that guy just roaming the earth. <laughs> He's probably got a debit card and teeth. <laughs> there was a guy here last night, he had an American flag a tie on his, uh, on his shirt, and... Uh, Wait, you mean he was wearing a tie and a shirt, or there was the drawing of a tie on his shirt? The second one. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good look. Yeah. That guy, you know, he's tired of coasting on the uh, fake tuxedo t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. He decided to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It was funny, too, because I asked him, I go, you for sure have more of those shirts, right? And he was like, no, man, just, just one. Just one's all I need. And I was like, I kind of gave him, like, the Larry David, like, for real? And then he was like, all right, man, I got, like, six. <laughs> I was like, why did you lie about that? It's a cool shirt. <laughs> I don't have to do laundry for six Saturdays. <laughs> you said he wore it to church. I stand 
resurrected. <laughs> Six weekends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> also joining us today, it's Chris Cubas. Yeah. Hey. You guys are loud. That's fun. Yeah, you get a better reaction here than in uh, Austin. <laughs> Those people are very high. They're, they're, they're sleepy at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing like the straight edge crowd here in Dallas. <laughs> it's a different kind of drunk. I went to the uh, Irish pub that's over here yeah, when I, uh, yeah. on the way here. Uh, what's it, what's it called? I, I don't know. Trinity Hall. Trinity Hall. What did you, you call it? So. Me? It's called Trinity Hall, but Adam before the show tried to call it by something. Tranny Hall? Yeah. What'd you call it? When you're, when you're saying that pub right there. Oh, the People's Pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't think that's what it's called. And then you go, then you go Trinity, and then he's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> he's gastro pub lighting me. There was, oh. <laughs> Come Ooh. on! Yeah. Come on! Gotcha. It's not going to get any better than that, you guys. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't have to. I certainly hope it does. <laughs> Jesus. These people paid money to be here. We can't just leave them with that. <laughs> yeah. There was a guy, I was sitting outside having a cigarette, or having a vape, sorry. And uh, this guy walked up, leaned next to the door of the pub, and was just like, hey, you know if there's a bar around here? I was like, nice. yes, I think there, there might be one pretty close. <laughs> Um, that's a hall, dummy. Oh, sorry. And there's three of them. There was a very, uh, there was weird, because I've never been in an Irish pub with actual Irish people. I walked in and I heard just a thick accent. I can't do accents, but this guy was like, if that guy keeps talking shit, I'm going to feed him his teeth. And I was like, that is an Irish thing to say at 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> Even at 10.30 at night. Yeah. You can get his teeth for half off at happy hour. <laughs> And also joining us, Joe DeRosa! Hello. Hello. Doug, good to see you. Dude, so lucky that you're in town. We're not going to name the other club because, you know, we're at Hyenas. Yes. No, the improv over there is a nice room, right? It's very nice. In Addison? It's very nice. There's no, there's no yeah, in Addison. Did I sound <laughs> condescending when I said it? <laughs> Yep. Yeah, you sound like a real prick. <laughs> no, I played there a lot of times over the years, and then I met a hyena. And, and we've, she just and made we've, you laugh, and we've, laugh. Yeah, and we've just been inseparable. But uh, there's no you know. fun cartoon animal drawings at the uh, improv, are there? Mm -mm. No, there's no. There's and nobody's laughing either. But that's probably my fault. <laughs> oh, that's not true. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's nice to be here. I've never been to Hyenas. This is a nice, it's a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And they've got, uh, uh, you know, several locations throughout uh, Texas. And um, yeah, everybody check them all out. <laughs> wow. Support, I I, support live comedy. I think you won the job for the uh, spokesman for all the clubs. I think I really do. Yeah. I, I, I speak well for them. You do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm psyched that you're here, man. What are the chances? We Hyenas, come on down and laugh like a stupid animal. <laughs> I, you know, I gave them that slogan. They did nothing with it. That's on them. <laughs> yeah, that's a freebie. But yeah, it was great timing that you were here. A yeah. fan that's probably somewhere in the audience. There he is. Um, yeah, where were you last night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew that Chris and and uh, what's your name Adam I knew that I knew that the two of them were gonna be on the show and so I wrote a tweet saying two of your favorites are gonna be there because that's true right and uh, and then this guy over here wrote back does his name rhyme with Mo Mimosa <laughs> and I was like fucking Mo Mimosa's in town I was very disappointed to hear he met you, but still excited because it's great that you're here and can I do this. I never realized my last name rhymes with mimosa. Mimosa, right? Uh, I like, smell a comedy club <laughs> and you drink. <laughs> Coming soon. 
Jim. Dude, the king of brunch. <laughs> oh Mo- my Mosa. god, the Derosa <laughs> Mimosa. <laughs> Make it happen. What is it? Extra bitter? <laughs> <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Uh, well, congratulations, Joe, on still being alive on Better Call Saul. He's Thank the you. veterinarian on yeah. that program. Thank you very much. Doug, you're the biggest fan I've ever met of that show. I'm dead serious. For real? <laughs> yeah. Just because I watch every episode? I mean, I don't go any deeper than that. No, but you, well, you're the only, fa- you're the only person I know who is a fan and also knows that I'm actually on the show. Because people come up to me after my shows and they go, Better Call Saul, it's my favorite show. Who are you on the show? And I go, I'm this vet. And they go, oh, that's my favorite. And I'm like, get the fuck out of my face, asshole. You're the one person that actually knows, you know. But that as a veterinarian and as a, as a you know, your role in the show is to be a guy that's, you know, doing all this fucked up shit for people, but keeping it crazy low key. Yeah. So like, you're not, you're not flashy, so you're not so you're not memorable. No, I'm not one of those flashy but vets. But those are <laughs> like in the soap operas. Like, you know what I mean? They could have cast a guy that was more distracting and memorable. <laughs> were, were you up for that uh, Kevin Hart role in the uh, wheelchair Brian Cranston movie? What's it called? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, that was originally a crime thriller where uh, <laughs> it was originally Bone Collector yeah, Two. I planned a heist right under. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, movie, said, that movie's called The Upside, and I think it's called that because The Upside is once you're done watching it, at least you're still alive. <laughs> oh my god! You can, you know, you can go out and continue living your life. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I, you know, Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart are great. That's just a generic burn. How I have many, it, how I many? I haven't seen the movie. It was released in January, so it has to fucking suck. It was a weird pairing. <laughs> also, I saw the trailer, which shows you every beat of the movie. The fucking poster is a spoiler, because it shows the, him happily pushing the white guy in the wheelchair, and they are not friends at the beginning. They're not. My favorite uh, giveaway in the movie, because what happened with these movie scripts... Oh, you've seen it! No, 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 no. It's, a, it's in the trailer. It's in the trailer, but this what like these movie scripts sometimes they get written like thirty years ago and then they finally get produced. They get shelved for a little. And the giveaway that this was written thirty years ago, Kevin Hart, who's like thirty eight, uh, at one point goes, "Man, why can't we listen to some Aretha?" <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to honor the dead. <laughs> what fucking year was this written? <laughs> It's weird that Kevin Hart says no homo every time he gives him a bath. That's un- that's unfortunate. <laughs> he could have been an Oscar host. I don't. <laughs> Doug, did they ask you to host the Oscars? <laughs> no, I'm waiting for them to just uh, finally turn to the world of podcasting. <laughs> to find somebody to host an international celebration of movie stars. I think we should start a GoFundMe to get Momo Mosa to host the Oscars. I'm serious. I said that as a joke, but now I mean it. It's also what you say when you, when you need another. Momo Mosa. <laughs> yeah, and if you say more mimosa, they kick you out of the restaurant. And the Joe Mimosa is a mixture of coffee and... What's in a mimosa? Champagne. Orange juice and champagne. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Most of the people are grossed out by that drink both of those things regularly. And they just know how horrible it would be together. Uh, what do you got for the prize bag, my friend Adam? Oh, boy. What do you got for the prize bag, my friend Chris? Uh, I have... <laughs> I'll shoot you an email. A, a mild theme. I got the soundtrack to Pretty Woman. I got the soundtrack to Working Girl. <laughs> and I have the soundtrack to Boys on the Side. Oh! Which, by the way, whoever gets this, you need to tweet me when you listen to it, because Whoopi Goldberg has a song on it called You Got It, and I need to know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Three minutes of Whoopi Goldberg. It's her just reciting lines from the movie Eddie. <laughs> 
It's actually just three minutes for her talking about the next starting lineup. It's just sort of like, you know, Charles Oakley is a real, that's how old I am. I went to Charles Oakley as a Knicks reference. Yeah, that's a good poll. I gotta shut up. Who's in Boys? Those three movies are like a triple bill that doesn't stand up to time, but, but, but the songs from it, from them, right? You just, are those the movies or the songs? Those are the movies. I got, what? <laughs> Wow. You brought the soundtracks from those movies. The soundtracks of those three movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was boy. trying to say, they're all extremely dated movies, and I'm, but I'm sure the music is as modern as it ever was. Every, yeah, yeah. Everybody in the audience collectively just thought, does Doug love movies? <laughs> <laughs> or just the songs from them. What do you got for us, Adam? Oh, boy. I got... Uh, oh, look at that. So, got real high last night, went to Kroger, and got a nice bag of, uh, got a nice bag of cashew almond uh, mix. By the way, a... Big uh, old bag of nuts. Yeah. A clerk came over to me at one point. I got a little too stony last night, and um, was, like, definitely in that, like, uh, nut cracker aisle. Uh, well, it was one of the, they have, like, the dispensers, you know what I'm saying? You can get lost there. When you said nut cracker aisle, I just imagined crazy white people. <laughs> Yeah, I was told, uh, or one guy. Where the nuts and the crackers go? Uh, nut crackers. What I search on Pornhub. That's my. It's a good category. That's my category. Uh, I was asked to uh, the guy. I knew I was like too high because I just kept like you know taking a few out of each thing, and then I just heard a voice go, uh, "Do you need some help?" I'm like, "You should never need help like filling a plastic bag with, you know." All right. Nuts. Yeah. When I got a, I'm sure uh, that guy was like a part-time life coach. <laughs> <laughs> Working at Kroger. And then I got a, a sweatshirt from, uh, from my, my merch. Free, free hoodie. Huh? Wait, you go full sweatshirt yeah, with baby. a hood in yeah. your merch? Yeah. God damn. I love, I love owning this. Wait a sec. It's for men and women. What size did you bring? XL. It's mine. <laughs> right, You're so. in Texas. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> There was a sign that had a picture of a hamburger, a picture, a cartoon drawing of a milkshake, and then the words health camp underneath it. Good job, Texas. Um, and also, uh, just, just some cash, 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Come on, dude. Everything's bigger in Texas. Well, I mean, as long as I'm hanging on to stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll trade you back my sweatshirt for that cash. Okay. I'll give you the cash for the sweatshirt. <laughs> what, a, what a great deal we've brokered. And Joe, I know you were already in Texas when I reached out about being on the show today. What, what have you come up with for the prize? I money? got, somehow magically, without knowing Chris was going to be here or speaking to him, I, got a, I brought a soundtrack even weirder than the three he brought. Uh, this is the soundtrack to a movie called Uncle Drew. Oh, my God. Wait, the, the first one or the remake? This is brand new. Yeah. I just bought yeah. it at Urban Outfitters. It's on cassette. Brand cassettes are back in. Oh yeah. I suggest. Oh yeah. If they've got them at Urban Outfitters. Yeah. They're back in. They just need to fix their windows. <laughs> I feel like Urban Outfitters doesn't know its demographic if they have the soundtrack to Uncle Drew. <laughs> well, I don't know what demographic this is for. This is a movie that pairs Shaq and old man makeup with Nick Kroll. So I don't. I don't know who they were going after for this but here's the funny part it was marked 13 dollars i was like oh, i'll pay the full 13 uh it's worth it for doug loves movies <laughs> and i went up to the register this movie bombed so fucking bad the guy goes that'll be two two dollars please <laughs> it was two dollars brand new wow <laughs> i like a clerk that brings their own opinion into it yeah. their own taste and they knock a few bucks off <laughs> i heard it was all right that movie uh, I, like the, I don't know. There's a guy over there. No! Yeah. So oh. defiant. It oh, might, oh. it might. I thought Ready to Rumble looked like the most ridiculous movie ever, and it, that I movie's think really, really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. funny. Yeah. So maybe Uncle Drew's funny. Also, the trailer to Uncle Drew, like, yeah, I'll watch a little Rel dunk on, I don't know. Kyrie. Somebody, a famous basketball player. I'm, That's what I'm saying. Like, I, don't uh, that, I don't know who that is. You know. I know Ready to Rumble is a reference. I'm a wrestling fan. That's what I know. Ready to Rumble's great, and it's got Martin Landau in it, which is odd. It's very weird. Yeah, yeah. It's an odd piece of casting. Everyone's anyway. got your back on that. I can, I can just, 
I could feel the whole room going, oh, Martin Landau. What were they? Those Landau what casting was, discussions. What was that about? Um, may he rest in peace. But <laughs> He's dead? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, he's super dead. Basing in our country, he's either dead or in Congress. He's an old white man that's doing one of those two things. You know who's still alive that I didn't... Uh... <laughs> this is a fun game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's a great game. You know, when you're just like, you assume... Like, I thought Bob Barker for sure had died, but he's still, he's still kicking it. Why do you think he yeah. died? Because he retired? No, just you haven't seen him in a, in a long time. Yeah, because and... he retired. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, post a couple selfies every now and then. Let us know you're still, you know, get on Instagram. Right? Yes. Like, I would love, like, po- selfies of him <laughs> holding up items in a grocery store. <laughs> and, say, and the caption just saying, I don't care what this costs. <laughs> <laughs> or he does try to do pricing games on Instagram. He Comment below how much you think it is. I mean, he's got to yell. He's got to yell plinko every once in a while when he's making love to his lady. <laughs> he has to. Right? It's in his contract. All right. <laughs> All that stuff is in the prize bag. And uh, you know, normally I'd move on to the question I always ask everybody, but since Adam Ray is here and since we invented this on his podcast uh, about last night with Brad with Brad Williams. Uh, let's let's do some first impressions. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> now this is all of us together trying to learn to do some impressions. So Chris and Joe and Adam, but Adam already knows how this works. Just think of a person that you think is either easy to do an impression of, or maybe people don't do enough impressions of that person. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I got some, scared of doing this bit. I'm not good at impressions. Or so, no, that's the idea. Is it's for yeah, I, no, I get it. I'm okay. going to be embarrassed. I understand that's the, <laughs> no, that's no. the bit. No, that's not it. Is that you can circumvent embarrassment by just being clever. And um, because each impression you can set it up with, some, you know, some sort of lead in or whatever. And the impressions are short, just one word or a noise. Um, <laughs> Like, yeah, go noise if you're not confident in the voice, you know? <laughs> like, Chris, just name a famous actor. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. All right, this, be a, this is my impression of Tom Hanks. <laughs> I can't wait for this. I mean... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this isn't problematic territory at all. You do you. I have a no-word Tom Hanks impression. Oh, I, I love it. Great. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Perfect. You got me off the hook. I swear to God, I have this. Oh, you gotta hold my mic. Let me set it up. This is Tom Hanks angrily agreeing with somebody. Oh, shit. All right? So you have to go, do you mean there's no crying in baseball? Yeah. You, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you mean to oh, tell Adam's me, gonna play the other part? Yeah, or okay. you mean to tell me your girlfriend's a mermaid? You know, with, with some Tom yeah. Hanks movie plot. But I have to agree with you angrily. How about I'll play Denzel in Philadelphia? Well, that's the worst choice. How could he uh, disagree with you angrily? No, no. Agree with, agreeing with. Well, how can he agree with you angrily? He's like, be like, I have AIDS. Say, oh, I forgot. Part of it is you got to be like, you got to make it sound like I've been trying to explain this to you for a while. Okay. So, so now we got to do it to Fuck. Just do any, do any, do any other Tom Hanks movie. All right, this is Gary Sinise. Do one word. Gary Sinise. Every other Tom Hanks movie, he doesn't die of AIDS. Um. So I need to set you up so that you agree with me. Yes, this is all right. all right, all right. This is Tom Hanks naming his favorite cheesesteak. Wait, all right, here's all right. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, no. so I'm gonna play left field tonight. <laughs> that was really good. By the way, that was Rosie O'Donnell. I was doing. That was Thank a, you. That was a great Hanks. You did the Hanks face too. Yeah. I knew it would come in handy one day. <laughs> it's a useless bit. And then everywhere else besides right here, right now. I think you could close on that. Hey, let's do it again, but I'm going to be better at the other part. Okay. Stand up. Good luck. First, I'm not going to do Philadelphia. <laughs> serious movie. It's not, <laughs> okay, that's another serious one. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> What's that 9-11 movie he was in? He's Sully. He really goes after all the big ones. Sully. 
What's happening to those buildings? I better land this in the Hudson. <laughs> Just flies right by it. Oh, that's so fucked up. That's so unhanks of him. <laughs> He's is he in a 9-11 movie? Yeah, extremely loud and incredibly uh, close or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's got an autistic kid who loves 9-11. <laughs> Is that the plot? Is that how it was pitched? I should say the child, I think, was on the spectrum, but also, you know, I'm not trying to make fun of autism. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is... All right, so who are you? This is a better setup for him angrily disagreeing. Angrily agreeing. All right. (laughs) Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. So wait a second, so you're trying to tell me that you only have the one red shoe? <laughs> See, that's how you do it. That was good. That was good. That was good. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do... Can you do it, please? The Da Vinci Code. <laughs> no, I was going to say, so you're serious. You really fought a volcano? <laughs> Joe versus the volcano. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for okay. coming. Thank okay. you for being here. Thanks for sitting over there. All right. So the idea is each of you are going to name a celebrity. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't done the game yet. <laughs> each of you is going to name a celebrity, and uh, and then we'll see. We'll all try to do impressions, but you don't have to try to do it if you don't think you can. Uh, after the count of three. <laughs> On zero. <laughs> okay, what? That's always that's, uh, that, how many times does that happen in movies where they get the countdown mixed up? <laughs> it's hilarious. Because oh. lives are at stake. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bill Cosby. Morgan Freeman. What? Why didn't you say anybody, Joe? I, f- I got confused. I thought the crowd was saying it. We say it. What, the whole Sorry. crowd's going to yell names at us? Look. That's overwhelming. I didn't think it made any sense We either. get enough of that at the end. Of- All right, sorry, sorry. I would watch a biopic of uh, Sam- uh, Morgan Freeman playing Bill Cosby. I would watch that movie. Oh my Sam God. Rockwell. He's part. already been in okay. jail. <laughs> All right, so we have... <laughs> Shawshank, come on. He's been there before, yeah. Sam Rockwell. <laughs> I mean, Rockwell. if I were a filmmaker in jail with Bill Cosby, I would say, let's do this. Let's make the sequel. <laughs> I'll change mine to Christian Bale. That's easier than Sam Rockwell. Let's get one. Is it? Sam Rockwell was. <laughs> Sam Rockwell was an interesting one because uh, you know he's he's in that character actor zone with you, of uh, <laughs> where he's played. He's been on one TV show ever in his whole life. Can't get arrested on anything else. Yeah. I'm sure that's yeah. We're we're just the same. He's always getting that flashy vet role. <laughs> Wait, who'd you change it to? I'll do Christian. Uh, uh, Christian Bale's a little broad. A Christian, little bit nice Christian Bale as Batman? Uh, no, as Bruce Wayne. Oh. Or, you know, one of, one what of those. What about as uh, Cheney? That, that counts, and so does American Psycho. He only has one voice for a normal, yeah. like a sort of a seemingly normal person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he has his Batman voice. That's All right, it. this is Dick Cheney eating a particularly pleasing bowl of cereal. Yum, yum. (laughs) Well, now I want to know what cereal it was. (laughs) Mm, Fruit Loops. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Um, Dear hyenas, may I have another Tito's and soda in this giant glass? I, I mean, it's not giant, but it's bigger than one you gave me yesterday. I came by the club last night to see Adam. They gave me a drink, like, in a tiny-ass glass. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want this to do, is, Adam? Uh, this is Christian Bale. I'll just ride that Bale train. Uh, realizing that he um, uh, got the times mixed up for the movie he was going to go see. And so he missed the movie. Okay. Oh, fuck! <laughs> and then... Uh, Oh, there's and more. Then this is Christian Bale. There's more to it. Yeah, and then he realizes, oh wait, I can still go see uh, Sully. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. I knew there was a payoff coming. It's amazing that like he's a movie star and nobody knows his real voice except for when he accepts awards or yells at a guy on the set. Those are the only times those are the only times he uses his real accent. Welsh, right? Is he Welsh? Australian. <laughs> Is, is he Welsh? I don't know. One of us is way wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's. Aus- I think he's Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he isn't. He's not. He's not. <laughs> wow, there's a Christian Bale fan club that just. <laughs> okay. He's got some accent going on. Who do you want to do, Joe? Do you, do you like any of those? Uh, you... dude, was Christian Bale Morgan Freeman? Who was the other one? Cosby. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, Christian Bale's in the Machinist, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. This is Christian Bale in the Machinist. Could you eat? I could eat. I could have a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Does he say that in the movie? No, certainly not. No, he's just very skinny. He's a skinny. Oh wow. He hasn't eaten in a minute, so now I get it. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'll do, uh... What are you doing? I'll do Christian Bale as Dick Cheney and Morgan Freeman. Wow. Just as Morgan Freeman. Uh, Being told by a prostitute all the services they can get. Like she's going down the menu of like, if you pay this much, you can do this. If you pay this much, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's probably like three things. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's three things, but there's a big price jump in each. So uh, Christian Bell is Dick Cheney. And then Morgan Freeman. Oh, that, I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that was both of them taking turns. <laughs> then Morgan Freeman. Uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Which was kind of Cosby. I thought I... Yeah. I couldn't remember what Morgan Freeman sounded like at the very last second. <laughs> All right, here's Cosby at uh, <laughs> Urban Outfitters finding out that they sell the Uncle Drew soundtrack. Ooh, yeah! Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh, man. Selling cassettes to a blind man. That's Urban Outfitters' new slogan. <laughs> People went, oh, like they're sad that Bill Cosby's blind. Wait, what were you lying? In both eyes. Uh, What's that, a Phil Collins song? <laughs> a Phil Collins new single is Bill Cosby Blind in Both Eyes. I'd probably listen to it just to see what it was about. Be like, is, do they tell us through the lyrics? Doug, Doug is going into stuff. I thought we might get into some weird areas with Bill Cosby, but um, who was the one that you said, Chris? I said Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst at changing the subject. <laughs> Chris, who did you say? <laughs> Do you have a Bill Cosby? <laughs> uh, no, but apparently Bill Cosby is pretending to be a doctor in prison. Has anyone else seen that headline on no. the internet? Apparently he's just diagnosing people in his prison cell because he <laughs> played a doctor for a while on TV. That's just my favorite thing that's ever yeah, happened. Yeah, a gynecologist news. actually, so yeah. I, I don't know what the men are, what kind of advice they're getting from him. Wait, so he's walking up? Yeah, the- <laughs> his, yeah his advice is take these pills and call me in four days. <laughs> You've got athlete's foot. <laughs> All right, man. We're in jail. Chill out. <laughs> Can't probably do anything about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I like it. 
Morgan Freeman was the other one. Doug. Morgan Freeman was yeah. the other one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have a good Morgan Freeman one. His voice is. Uh... Wait, in Shawshank, he's like, "When I first met Andy Dufresne." Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's Morgan Freeman trying to remember his lines in that movie. <laughs> That's Morgan Freeman trying to remember what Morgan Freeman sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is Morgan Freeman second guessing the name of another character in a classic movie while it was being made. <laughs> Andy Dufresne? <laughs> Was that his name? Yeah. I'm not a huge Shawshank person. Some people watch it Love over it. and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, and that one didn't strike me that way. I was like, okay, I know the whole story. Yeah. I, I think it's an awesome movie, but it's, yeah. it's like The Godfather. It's not, you don't just throw it on. Like, you're sitting down for oh, a while. Yeah, okay, know? well, I'm, then we're going to throw down because you do just throw The Godfather on. If you meet a person who hasn't seen The Godfather, they need to see The Godfather. Well, I if would, you meet a person who hasn't seen Shawshank, they're living a good life. <laughs> Because they didn't watch two hours of fucking prison drama. I just mean in the middle of the day, if you're alone, you're not like, I'll throw on The Godfather. <laughs> Sit here for four hours by myself. It is a commitment. You're talking about the whole saga now. No. You're talking about one and two. The first one's not four hours long. It's like three and a half hours, isn't it? Mm -mm. That's a commitment. <laughs> What's your favorite long movie ever? I oh, know great question. Too bad we don't have time. <laughs> This next game we're gonna play. Wait, can I do? Can I do one more? No, I, I want to answer his question. I was just joking. Uh, but, uh, but but yeah, you can also do another impression after that. Favorite longest movies? Really, that is a good question. I wasn't. Well, you're just about like I'll part. do. I'll, mine's Malcolm X. I'm, I'm like I'll put the time That's in right a, now. I don't care. It's, what is it? Is it three plus yeah, or just three? It's about three or maybe three and. I change. think it's a pretty lean three though, because I, I you know I only saw it the one time, but I, it, it's very uh, incident. There's a lot of incidents. Yeah. It's yeah, incident the, heavy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Malcolm X's life was he pretty did some incident shit. heavy. He did some shit. <laughs> incident heavy is how we describe it in the community. It's three hours of him going, Malcolm A? No. <laughs> Malcolm B? No. Deer Hunter is an interesting long movie because you could just start an hour in and be like, okay, so some people got married and now the story starts. <laughs> yeah, that's got a long lead in that one. Way long. Way too long. I mean, it's good, but... Um, Maybe shit. Zodiac? Ooh, that's not I that love. long. Is that, how long is that? It's like 2.45 at least, right? Am I crazy? Yeah. That no, no, no. Real long. It's really long. I like that you were like, I have no idea, and then also nodded yes immediately afterwards. Just like, I don't know. Yeah, that sounds right. Sounds right. <laughs> sounds right. You spring up something vague, she doesn't know. You give her a number. Mm hmm. <laughs> sounds right. Um, but yeah, that's a, you know, that's a great question. Favorite longest movie? Gladiator's a good one. That's not that long. Yeah, it is. Settle down. <laughs> It's like five hours. No way. It's like 220 maybe. Well, would which, you... which has become a thing that I don't like. I don't like that superhero movies are all 220, uh, 230. Yeah, it's it's just like it's too much. It, you know, it's like come on, you're making a million. You're, you're making so many of these movies. Why do they have to be so long? I hate it. This is 220. We had to get the Paul Rudd scene in there. <laughs> yeah, what if Paul he's Rudd the, didn't show he's, up? He's the lead of that movie, Joe. I no. don't know if you understand. I just... They have to let Paul Rudd be an Ant Man. <laughs> I just mean like I'm not picking on power. I just mean like these Marvel movies are like, well, we have to get the scene in where the fifth lead from Doctor Strange Two shows up. You know, it's just like just cut a couple fucking characters. This thing 90 minutes. We're in and out. It's too long. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. I didn't say it was a funny opinion. No, but you could run for mayor on that platform. Yeah. yeah. That's Mo Mimosa as a veterinarian talking about too big of a dog dick. Just cut it out. It's too long. I felt it got a little Seinfeldy. You did, yeah. Can we cut a few people out of this movie? <laughs> Nobody cares about Ant Man. We're good Have you seen these superhero movies? We're doing 220 now? I'm going to do 220. Watch a guy in pajamas throw webs around? And Bill Cosby 
showing people they have athletes put in prison. <laughs> this game might become the whole show. <laughs> I might, or maybe, you know, maybe it's time for a spinoff podcast. First impressions, and I just force people to try to do impressions. That's <laughs> fun. I like it. I got a Morgan Freeman. I love it. There we go. This is uh, Morgan. What's the setup? So the setup is Morgan Freeman uh, is about to watch Home Alone three, uh, but he thinks Macaulay Culkin is in it. So you can only imagine the disappointment that Freeman endures. And by the way, Freeman endures is a movie I'm trying to I'm trying to get going. It's actually a documentary about him being disappointed. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so he thinks Macaulay's in uh, Home Alone Three. Here we go. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, it's a quick one, but you get what's happening. All right, now here's my Christian Bale that I like to bring up every time Christian Bale comes up. <laughs> In Dark Knight Rises, there's a scene where uh, he's talking to Catwoman and she's suddenly not there anymore, which is something Batman does to people all the time. And when she disappears, he says to himself, So that's what that's like. <laughs> he, he says the fucking voice to himself. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, somebody pointed out, like, a couple scenes to me in this in Dark Knight. The oh, second it makes one. no sense. Yeah, where he, they're, they're like, he's just with Alfred. Why is he still talking in that voice? <laughs> <laughs> I know that you're Batman. man. <laughs> <laughs> How many Bruce Wayne, do you know who the Batman is? I've got no idea. I mean, it could be anybody. <laughs> How many versions of that Batman voice do you think he went through? You know? I don't know, but uh, what's his name? Uh, Nick, Nick Cage's uh, Adam West impression in Kick Ass is the best Batman. <laughs> it's so good. Um, do you have any more? Anybody else? Uh, Joe's got another one. Any uh, for these three? Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Morgan Freeman. This is also Morgan Freeman again with the prostitute. <laughs> He's by himself this time. She runs down her menu of things. Dandy. <laughs> oh fuck, dandy. That's good. <laughs> That's real good. That's all. That's a word he'd say when uh, when she lets him pull over to pee <laughs> in uh, driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> I need to make water. All right, go ahead, Dandy. <laughs> what was the last movie you saw, Joe? Well, funny enough, uh, I think the last movie I saw was The Perfect Bid which is a documentary about The Price is Right. Yeah, just watch that. Yeah. So good. Which Bob Barker gets interviewed in, and I also was like, holy shit, Bob Barker's still alive? Yeah. He's like way in his fucking 90s, yeah. but I was surprised too. When you said that, I was like, that's weird, I just watched that movie. But it's a documentary about a guy that was so obsessed with The Price is Right, he would watch it every day, and then he started to notice that products would be repeated. So he started to create a data bank of the products and the prices, and he eventually amassed every product and every price they were ever going to run on the prices right. And then he created a computer game for himself so he could remember the prices where he'd quiz himself. Then he would go to the show, and the thing would come up, the washing machine, and you know, you can bid from the audience for the people competing, and he'd be like, $787.85. Yeah. <laughs> and the people would do it, and they'd be like, You got it right on the nose! Yeah. <laughs> It's not illegal. It wasn't illegal. Yeah. Now, now, but then they eventually figured out that he did that, and now they made it so you can't do that anymore. Who can't do it? There's an audience yelling the whole time, or they just yell higher or lower. They don't repeat the products anymore, so you uh, can't memorize. 
oh. because they figured out finally the guy, that guy that got in all the news stories that beat The Price is Right did that because he listened to this other guy in the audience and it was like a scandal. They thought they were like cheating and shit. So they, yeah, they just changed it. Cheating. Yeah. All right. But it's a cool documentary. I don't want to live in a world where you can beat The Price is Right. <laughs> I don't want to live oh, in a world crazy. where you can't cheat on game shows. What am I doing? I mean, it comes down to two people at the showcase showdown, so like, somebody's got to win. That's my that's my <laughs> motto. That's your philosophy. Yeah, give it to one of those two. You, you know, I rushed the stage during a taping of The Price Is Right. What? Yeah, my sophomore year of college. It's a quick story. I went with a big group. Um, from, uh, from acting school. And if you go with 20 or more people, you're guaranteed to get one person called a contestant's row. And our friend got called at the very end. So we only had one chance to get up there. And it was like these primetime shows, so all the prizes, instead of like a dinette set right out of the gate, it was like a trip to the Bahamas and an Escalade. And it was like at 8.30 on a Tuesday night and Barker was uh, still hosting. And so he gets one chance and he doesn't get it. He gets $1. And uh, my buddy's like, dude, we, you know, we were at multiple pot brownies and, and bottles of Jack Daniels. And so I was real fucked up sitting there and he's like, you should rush the stage, whoever wins the showcase showdown. And it was this big black dude named Daron and this little old lady named like Ethel or some shit and and Daron won and all his friends are on the other side and we're on this side and my buddy pushes me out of my out of my seat and I run down the fucking come on down lane which by the way that was just so exciting in itself like I was I definitely took a moment to be like it's fucking my turn you know and uh get a little double dick action you know real quick though they can't real, send you back if you double dick real know? quick one question yeah. this is a short story my bad <laughs> Anyway, I run up to the top of the <laughs> stairs, and there's a security guard right there you can't see on TV. And all she did was say, what are you doing? And I go, that's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and she was like, sounds good to me. <laughs> and I ran through, and I started hugging the dude, and I sat in his Escalade and did that. And uh, it's on YouTube. You uh, should try that same thing with the Rolling Stones. You know, like, Mick Jagger's my best friend <laughs> in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's cool. I mean, isn't it weird when you go to Price is Right how tiny that room is? It's so small. It looks giant on TV. It's like when you're a kid and Toys R Us feels so big and then you grow up and you're like, you know, first of all, you're like, why am I at Toys R Us? I'm an adult. But but that stage was so, the energy though. Why am I at Toys R Us? I'm an adult and they don't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is a Quiznos. Oops. Um, but yeah, the energy in that, yeah. in that taping was like... Fuck, dude, it was, you know, and this was still when Barker was hosting, so it was, and Rod Roddy was there. Who? <laughs> <laughs> the hey, guy, listen, you're going to be impressed when you figure this out. The announcer. Oh, the was guy, there. The he guy, was there. The guy who announces the show was there, <laughs> and he announced it. Remember the guy that was Come like, on down. <laughs> this other guy is just saying, come on down is a cheap ripoff of Rod Roddy. Yeah. <laughs> Rod Roddy had such a unique. Learn your history, man. <laughs> He had such flashy jackets. <laughs> what was the last movie you saw, Chris? So I've been trying to catch up on uh, Best Picture nominees. Oh, I so like it. This last week I saw The Favorite and Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you, you don't think Aquaman's a Best Picture nominee? <laughs> nominee, no. Best Picture, maybe. It's really good. Was it good? No, it's terrible. It's actually fine. It's fine until... It, who, uh, you guys have seen Aquaman. It, it's a movie that makes you so schizophrenic because you don't love it or hate it, so it's nah, hard nah, to nah, like nah. be passionate one way or the other. But Absolutely, you still want to talk about it. I do because like it's actually pretty fun. And then uh, Manta, whatever that villain in the the guy that looks like a, a, a mighty Morphin Power Ranger villain that shows up halfway through the movie, and he jumps down, and he just like stomps the ground, and he goes, Argh! and I was like, your arms can't move. You are in a in a children's Halloween costume. Why is this happening in a multi-million dollar film? Sorry. I, apparently, you guys love Aquaman. I apologize. I'll shut up. Or uh, they, the favorite is awesome. Favorite I think they saw Aquaman and didn't pay attention to anything that was actually happening. They were just like, this seems all right. Yeah. This seems like they're underwater. It's pretty fun. I watched it with Korean subtitles because I stole it on the internet. So <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Momoa is like the new rock, you know? Like No, he's... he is not. No, no I mean, he reminds Sorry, me. Sorry, I cannot close. abide he this reminds... rock slander, sir. I can't stand for it. He reminds me of early rock. Go back and watch some early rock. He wasn't... Completely, Charles ro S. Dutton? completely rocking it right away. Oh, That's who I nice. miss. Charles S. Dutton. Good yeah. ball, dude. 
one person clapping for Charles S. Dutton. Yeah, there's a TV show called Rock, and it starred a man who was a murderer. <laughs> yeah, in real, in that's real a stone cold fact. He was in. He jail really for murder. did murder somebody. Did some prison. Came out. Got a maybe, sitcom. Maybe, immediately. Maybe in prison he learned some acting skills, and they got a TV show. You guys don't believe us? It's fucking true. That's what I would say whenever somebody brings up Dwayne Johnson now. I'd be like, Oh, you mean the second Rock? <laughs> You mean backup rock? And then you watch that show, The Titans, and they call him DJ. They call Dwayne Johnson DJ. Like, really? can you imagine? I wouldn't call him that oh. in a million years. Because, yeah. like, as soon as the camera stopped rolling, he might fucking beat me to the ground. <laughs> no, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it does. I would call him The Rock if I met him. I, I don't. Well, be careful. I'd call him Sir if I met him. I'm just trying to live. <laughs> Well, Does like, he you... hate when people call him Rock Dog? Is that why you said be careful? Hmm? Does he not like what... I think he's moved on. He wants. He likes DJ and Dwayne and... He likes Dwayne? Okay. Johnson. <laughs> What's up, Johnson? He knows the line between the two because he, he... There was a WrestleMania two years ago where he came out as Dwayne Johnson and was like... His whole thing was like, isn't this great, gang? We've got uh, 300,000 people. It's the largest attended. Re and we were watching it like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Fuck you, Dwayne Johnson. Fuck you. And then uh, this guy, Br Bray Wyatt, came out and challenged him. And he ripped, Dwayne, this is the awesomest thing I've ever seen. He rips off his pants and he's in the rock tights and he transformed like that into the rock. <laughs> he went from like, all right, shucks, to I will shove it up your ass sideways. I was like, this guy fucking rules. Yeah. It was awesome. I just got chills telling that story. <laughs> I'll never say another thing about Rampage and Skyscraper being the same movie, but one of them has an extra monkey. <laughs> what was that kid movie he did? He did a kid movie? He did a couple. Tooth Fairy? Tooth Fairy, that's right. And Witch Mountain. Nice. He's in Drive to Witch Mountain, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, Escape from Witch Mountain. And no, it's Drive to Witch Mountain. <laughs> but, but they did an interesting thing with the reboot. They spelled it W-H-I-C-H. -H, and it was a mystery of where they were coming from. <laughs> Witch Mountain. <laughs> what does Witch Mountain even mean? Like, witches live on a mountain? Seems like weird. Seems like weird to see... Witches who hike. <laughs> witches, witches who love the outdoors. <laughs> witches who hike sounds like a reality show waiting to happen. Watch the that. Witches of Witch Mountain <laughs> is a great, let's call SNL. Um, did I ask you what your last movie you saw was? No. Adam? Give it to me. Uh, I took my uh, nine-year-old nieces to see uh, Mary Poppins. Returns? Uh, yeah. Okay. How'd that work out for you? It's pretty good. Yeah? Um, what was your favorite part? When Dick Van Dyke danced? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, he's, it looked, he's old and he comes out and he dances. Yeah. And then we had this debate whether or not it was CGI or if it was really Dick. I'm afraid it might be a little... Uh, I had a nickel for every time I had that debate. How much would you have? <laughs> 45 cents. <laughs> Sounds about right. One of my nieces thought it was fake. Wait, how old are you, these kids? Nine. <laughs> Big diagnosis murder fans? Yeah. Why do they know who Dick Van Dyke is? Because I told them. Okay, that makes sense. After I showed them two girls, one cup. Look, you need to show them what's popular. How, how old is that, the two girls, one cup? How long has that been a thing? Great question. At least 10 years. Yeah, it's got to be 10, right? Yeah. More than a decade. We're coming up well, on the anniversary. I mean, why, I are we, why are we celebrating? <laughs> why are we every year... <laughs> Never forget. Doing a nice... One, two girls, one cup. I get starstruck when I meet someone that hasn't seen it. <laughs> Have you, you not seen Did you it? ever see One Girl, Two Cups? Yes. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you just by saying yes, you totally stepped on my punchline. <laughs> what did it... uh, but Poppins was okay. She did a good job. Wait, what? Mary Poppins. Oh. <laughs> you thought Poppins was not. Oh, gra- I'm glad we put a little bow on that. <laughs> Did you think Poppins was the name of the actress in Two Girls, One Cup? I was like, she was pretty good. Her name was Poopins, <laughs> folks. There it is, there it is. I mean, All weekend of the improv. <laughs> That's what you'll see in Addison. <laughs> <laughs> they used to do that. They used to do that with uh, pornography is there was always all these movie parodies that had like dirty sure. puns of the titles and they, yeah. and they don't do it anymore. Now they just go, hey, it's a Star Trek parody. And they just yeah. and then they just do Star Trek, but uh, some of them are so funny. They're so they were so great. Like it was such a great uh, well of comedy. <laughs> my favorite whatever yeah. is. Let's each do our favorite. My favorite whatever is uh, <laughs> bright lights, big titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Michael one. J. Fuck. <laughs> oh what? Oh. Boom. He's in that movie, right? Oh my god. Five hundred. <laughs> Would that come out around like the time of Back to the Future or something? Or? A little post, right? Yeah. It came out right when Bright Lights Big City came out. I remember. <laughs> when, no, seriously, no, when the movie came out yeah, of it. Yeah. Oh, I, I see. I thought Chris was saying another one, but he was just saying. No, that Michael that's... J. Fox is in Bright Lights Big exactly. City. Exactly. Now yeah. I get it. There you go. <laughs> God damn it. But I bet, do you have, do you know one? Do you know one of those old. Uh, a porn parody? Porn title parodies, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I watched... Um, so there's a comedy show in Austin called Peep Show where we watch old pornography and, and joke over it. And we watched Edward Penis Hands. Oh, my God. Points. Points. <laughs> Adam. Uh, wasn't there one called, like, Jurassic Cock? If there wasn't, there should have been. Yeah. It, it seems like maybe that might have been a little late because it, it just suddenly stopped Two. happening. They stopped doing. Two. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped doing those titles, but by uh, the one that I enjoyed a great deal was the Poonies. <laughs> I've watched that. Yeah. Oh, that is Chris good. This is so dumb. It's so great. All right. Uh, <laughs> Can I get a? Uh, Single vodka soda, a little lime, <laughs> and a tall glass. Thank you. Could I have a water and a diet? Or just a water? You know, have it's a good idea, water. Joe. You got to dial it down a little. <laughs> I got to do two shows you were, today. You were drinking coffee and, and not water? Yeah, I was drinking coffee, not water. And, you know, I'd love to have a real drink, but, you know, I got to get on stage tonight with these puns. <laughs> and it's hard to remember a lot of puns. <laughs> Hard to fill 60 minutes with puns. I don't know if you've ever tried to do it. But. Talk to my stepdad. <laughs> that guy is just pun city, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point of the show where I say, turn it off, Bert. Let the games begin. Everybody's been waiting so patiently, like, Doug, you're going to run out of time with all these bullshit impressions and terrible rock I jokes. Yelling, I gotta... Oh, I like that one over there. Oh, there's a gentleman leaving. His name tag didn't get chosen, so he's like, fuck all y'all. <laughs> Fucking out of here. That's not the guy with asthma, is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a guy going, Adam! <laughs> Thought he was gonna die. All right, so who you are? Who are you playing for? Adam. Uh, I'm playing for uh, Madison-in-law. Why'd you pick that one? Because I fucking love this movie. <laughs> do you and, love, uh, and do you, you lo- love the entire Pauly Shore oeuvre, or just that one? Um. <laughs> Because I'm not going to lie to you, I love Encino Man. Encino, well, yeah, Encino Man is probably the, the, the king of that ship. And then there's... Biodome's great. Biodome's the one. In yeah. the Army Now is a sleeper. Um, just because it's got the girl from uh, A League of Their Own in there. Well, what's her name? It does? Lori Petty, thank you. Yeah, Gina Davis's buddy. And... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you look good as Polly in this. This is a great... Oh, yeah, I do this. look good as Polly. Yeah. I'll take his career. 
Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you playing for, Chris? I am playing for Tinker Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R, Soldier Spy. Because it's a fucking painting. This is a it's full nice. on, it's on canvas and frame. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and it's already got signatures and, yeah, and apparently by I, me and other guests. A bunch of Graham Elwood signed it. I, apparently I've signed it at some point. I, I'm always drunk, so I don't remember. But also, yeah, a lot of people have signed it. So yeah, it's very good. Wow, good job, that, That's Taylor. impressive. Good job, Tinker. <laughs> Who are you playing for, Joe? Uh, this is Creature from the Blake Lagoon. And you're Blake, right? I assume, yeah. Um, and it's a cool poster. I took it because, man, you looked like you were going to be real sad if I didn't take it. <laughs> and I felt, I felt bad, man. I was like, I got to take this thing. It's very good. Yeah, it's good. Oh, you did it. Oh, okay, okay. He didn't mention that. Notice how he didn't go, she did it. He just goes, thanks. Oh, uh, no, he said she did it when I was pointing out how shitty I thought it was. You think it's shitty? I, think it's I mean, look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> But good for, him, good for them, I say. Oh, they came with, oh, oh they, they came included with, Donetti. Oh, yeah. Jesus. It came with a bribe, so. That explains a lot. Crack Need those open. It's yeah, good job, Chris. Get into, the, get into the Donettis. Because this audience looks like they're hungry. Dude. <laughs> I've wasted so much time this show. Might as well waste some more time. I just, I just saw a flash like 20 With years from now. This is how you close your show. Where's that? Where's, Who that, wants that, where's that first guy? There he is. You, 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 you. I didn't come up with that. <laughs> if you do that again, I will murder you. I'm putting it right in your fucking hands. That was a fastball. <laughs> so he's throwing some darts. This guy just opened his mouth. I think he wants you to talk. Are you it kidding that. me? Really? All right, dude. I'll, I'll give you, you know, I'll give a nice lob. So Take his glasses off. <laughs> oh. I'll keep doing this all fucking day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This. Oh. No, he missed it. Come on, dude. Oh. I'm hitting his face. <laughs> <laughs> Getting real close. One more. Here we go. Oh. All right. It's not Just eat it off the table. That's how, that's, that's, how how judge, that's how you judge who's cut off in Texas. <laughs> you can't catch a donut in your mouth. No more drinks for you. <laughs> Earl, you couldn't catch a damn donut now. <laughs> Going home to your wife now. <laughs> I don't want to. You can keep them over there. I'm not going to. Uh, All right, you guys. Let's do this. Uh, we're going to start with a game. Oh, wait. Everybody said who they were playing for, right? Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> I thought I skipped that part. That's bad. Uh, let's start with a game called Live, Die, Repeat. I'll say the name of a motion picture. First one of you on stage that uh, repeats it back correctly uh, is the winner. It's that easy. Anyone can win. Have you played this game before, Adam? No. You have it? No. Okay. I'll figure it out. Joe, have you? I don't think so. Chris has. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you love it. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> North? North. Oh, that is a movie. That's a movie, right? Am I not crazy? Okay. Elijah Wood, right? Yeah. Not That's the one, not the one he Not the one I'm it. looking for. Oh. North. Dallas. North Dallas 40. That is it! All right. Good job. Starring Nick Nolte and singer Mac Davis as uh, professional football players who take a lot of drugs. Mm. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I bet you nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> the Percocet game is still strong amongst people who smash their heads into each other for a living. And let's smash our heads, you guys. Let's get crazy. Let's play A, B, C, D's Nuts! It's fucking Groundhog Day. Not only a great movie, but also a day where a thing happens that's all made up and doesn't matter. 
<laughs> I guess uh, he didn't see his shadow, Pakistani Phil, so, uh, so spring is coming any day now. In fact, here in Dallas, it's going to be 79 degrees on Tuesday. <laughs> It is. Wow. It is. Yeah. Getting out that's why I love. That's one of the things I love about Texas. It's just weird hot days in the middle, in the fucking middle of winter. It'll be 80 one day, and everybody be like, "All right, we'll take it." Yeah. yeah. We heard the rest of the country is freezing, so we're good. And uh, we're gonna spell Groundhog Day. We're gonna start with Chris, who won that game, and then we'll go to Adam, and then to Joe. And all you gotta do is I'll name a letter from the words Groundhog Day. And uh, you just name a movie that uh, begins with that letter to stay in the game. But if you match the title I wrote down ahead of time, you, you win the, this game. Okay. Which, I'm hope, which I'm hoping will happen. That was Adam for the listeners. Which I'm hoping will happen because, uh, you know, we got to move along to our, to our last game. So do, do good on this, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> The first letter to Chris is G. Ghostbusters. That is correct. Our next game. Is that for real? Did I get it? (laughs) That is what I wrote down for the letter G. Wow. What did you say? Did I I wrote it down? Wow. Which year? It's real. Oh shit, that's a good point. Which year? Fuck you. Which year, Chris? Yes. Do I have to know the actual year or can I pick the film? Say say old or new. Old. That's the one. Because I mean he was he was in the new one too, but I think of Bill Murray as the star of Ghostbusters. Yeah, I I went down the line just named it's all movies that feature that are feature someone that was in Groundhog Day. So it was Rock the Casbah, Osmosis Jones, Unstrung Heroes, Nothing Lasts Forever. Uh, uh, you get the idea. Wow. Yeah. So, sorry. I don't know if we're going short tonight. It gets into some obscure shit. Like Bill Murray was in a movie called A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles Swan III. Wow. I'm a huge Bill Murray fan, but I had no idea mm. until I did a little research. But no, Chris, you've, you've got us right back on schedule. Now okay. we're, we're only five minutes behind. Okay. Yeah, and thank you to everybody who wrote to me saying you had suggestions for Last Man Stanton, but uh, today the final game is going to be a round of uh, Bennington, where... Super fun game if you're on this side of the crowd. That side didn't care so much. Oh, that one, that one guy that one guy's into it. Yeah. Uh, I'll name an actor or actress, and then you, uh, who, Chris won that last game too. So Chris, you get to go first, and then we'll go to Joe, and then we'll go to Adam. And the idea is, and I'll shift, each one of you will get a chance to go first in this game, because that's really the, the poll position. I'll name a mo- movie actor. You say what you think is in their top three movies of all time, according to Box Office Mojo, after adjusting for inflation. So, like, if I name somebody from Gone with the Wind, that's going to be fucking number one. Because that movie is huge, but people only paid 15 cents a ticket. (laughs) Of course, also, I should mention, I will not be mentioning anyone from Gone with the Wind. Because that's some old ass shit. Now, just just, uh, human actors, not animal actors. Oh, that's a great idea, though. (laughs) Right. That might happen. Mongo, in, it's that Mongo, might, right? That might happen in the future. Because <laughs> I, 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 you know, as much as I don't like animals being forced to do anything, I do love animal actors. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we call them actors. They are. They're so yeah, good. They're, so they're good. good. The dog they do Marley a, and me was great. They do a good job. Man, I watched the trailer for that new dog movie. Was it? Was it? The dog's dog? the purpose. purpose? Or no? Uh, yeah, we were going to see. Dog's Way Home. The Dog's Purpose, right? Dog's Way Home, is that it? They, they're purpose. gonna make a movie called know. Eight Dogs, Apostrophe, whatever. They're gonna make as many of those as possible. They're all just yeah. called... Because people are fucking suckers for it, yeah. even though you're gonna have to watch a dog die. Yeah, they're just called Make Chris Cubas Cry. That's what those movies are called. You know what? The 12 ne- o'clock in the afternoon on a matinee. The, the next one in the works is a dog's dog, and it's about a dog's friend. <laughs> it's about a dog dealing with the loss of another dog. <laughs> 
yeah. finally, his pet dog dies. Yeah, yeah. How rich do you think the Air Bud dog is? Oh, he's dead as shit. <laughs> Wait, from like 1990, we, that dog's dead hey, as fuck. We still have Bob Barker, but we lost Air Bud. <laughs> yeah. All right. Today sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess Air Bud's age without going over. I say. <laughs> uh, he's got to be still well, alive. The most. <laughs> he's got. He's got to win the badminton tournament. <laughs> All right, Chris, there's no wrong answers, just ones that don't get you any points. Okay. What do you think is in the top three, hopefully number one, because that's worth the most points, Yeah. of actress Rashida Jones? Ooh, movies. Ooh. Everyone's like, oh, oh she's in movies, but... I can't think of more, one. More known for TV. Yeah, the, yeah, The Office yeah. and Parks and Rec, of Oh, course. she's in that movie with Jim from The Office. Oh. That I can't remember the name of. Oh, I'm having a baby, and you're wearing a jacket from a thrift store. I don't can't remember what it's called. Uh, Rashida Jones. Is that is, your final answer? Yeah. That's, no, it's not. Uh, Rashida Jones is... Uh, the audience has a lot of ideas. They're saying words, and I'm trying to shut up. <laughs> a lot of chatter. I can't think of a single Rashida Jones movie. That happens sometimes. I, you know, I'm I out. I got nothing. I can't I say I blame more. you. I'm looking at the shut top. Shut up! Top. I don't whose picture I took giving me shit. I just won that game in one. Yeah. Give me a goddamn minute, would you? <laughs> Come on, you lady. It just sounds like you're chanting U.S. <laughs> Which, yeah, I, I like it here, but... Can we steal? What? There's, yeah, maybe, it's gonna go to no, you, no, you get a turn. Okay. Yeah. All right, but it's Joe's turn first. Uh, the only movie I can think of is the one with her and Paul Rudd and Jason Segel where my, what's it called my, my new best friend the new, <laughs> don't tell him best, don't tell him you hold guys hold on the new hold on the best man not even man, the person whose name tag he chose alright we're no. going with the best man Adam uh, the social network okay that's a good. That's probably it, though. I feel like it. That's got that movie be. made a lot of money. It's definitely made more money than the best man. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at number three, the Muppets. She was in the Muppets. Okay. Yeah. But number two, good job, Adam. The Social Network. Finally. That's nice. So you get two points for that, Adam. And then number one was. Dr. Seuss's The Grinch. She was yeah, there. that one that just came out was so, made so much oh, money. Oh, the 2018 the animated Grinch. Yeah, yeah it yeah, made yeah. so much money. It's her number one movie. That's crazy. And the one you were thinking of, Joe, was at number four. I was a, a I love bro. you, man. Love oh, you. that's right. All right. All I right. love you, comma, man. Here's Morgan Freeman finding out that he lost uh, a voice role for the new Grinch. Oh, come on. <laughs> he lost out to Rashida Jones. This is <laughs> Morgan Freeman's reaction to your impression of him. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was good. I felt like he was here. All right, so... Uh, what happened? Adam's got two points, and Joe and Chris need to get on the board. And we'll start with you, Joe, on this next one, and then go to Adam. The films of Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay. Uh, Doctor Strange. Okay. Mm hmm. Fair enough. Ed, 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 Adam. Um. Fuck, what's that one where he's, uh... This isn't, that's not how this works. <laughs> what's the one where someone he's in like, the audience uh, will tell you. He tries to fix, like, the spy. Exactly what you're looking for. He's not a spy, like, a, there's, like, a polygraph or some shit. Um, no, uh, Um... I mean, you could pass, you know. Chris passed on Rashida. No, um... Uh... The, uh... The, the post... The Post? 
I mean, maybe one of those fuckers was British in there, but I doubt it. Not true. New York Minute with Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> That's a better guess. All right. That's a better I'm guess. Going with that. A young unknown Cumberbatch <laughs> probably showed up in that movie. That's silly. Joe, what do you think? I already went. Joe already went. It's okay, but seriously, what do you think, though? <laughs> Chris? Uh, the porn parody uh, <laughs> of New York. Ben, ben a dick cum her snatch. <laughs> That deserved more. That was great. Also, it's got to be Doctor Strange. It's, it's one yeah. of the, the other one is the Star Trek one, but I can't remember the full title, so I don't. Oh, know. okay. It sounds but, like you're uh, out then, dude. Yeah, it's 100. percent What it sounds like. You're correct. <laughs> you know, uh, they have those porn movies where the one the lady's pretending to be asleep. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know that <laughs> serial killer. What porn do you watch? You know those pores where Wait, the girl, where the girl doesn't move? Do you hear this? You're do you lying. Hear, You're do a you liar. hear Chris's reaction right now? That's yeah. the reaction of a man that only watches those yeah. videos. <laughs> exactly. What? I was not watching it! <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, I, I don't really love getting into politics on this show, but wh who the fuck... <laughs> Who has something on their page in the high school yearbook that they don't know was there at the time, right? Like that guy's like, oh, that's not me in the picture, and I didn't know they put that picture on my yearbook because I didn't buy a yearbook that year. As a man oh, that didn't go oh. to college, who knew they had yearbooks in college? Right? That's his med school yearbook? What world do you live in? <laughs> I think the people in the college are aware of the yearbook, especially when he has his own page and he's asked, what should we put on your page? <laughs> and he chose a picture where somebody's in blackface and another guy's in a Ku Klux Klan thing. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. I don't know. He's like refusing to resign. I'm like, just dude, do everybody a favor. Yeah. Are you poor? Are you poor? <laughs> Will you be destitute if you're no longer a governor? Or is he a governor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you say, is he a veteran? No, I said, is he a governor? Is oh, he okay, a governor? Yeah, 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 he's a governor. Governor. He's a, a governor. Yeah. yeah, he's governor. Nope. <laughs> he judges all governors. <laughs> you were kind of right. Um, all right, did you guys all guess on S Slumber Snatch? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. By the way, if it's New York Minute, I'm buying everyone in here a shot. yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Stop cheering. I love how excited you guys are for the fact that a, a British actor who came to prominence in the last few years is in a movie a couple of decades ago about a couple of children running around New York. Yeah. Is, is that what it's about? That was number one. Just kidding. Um, oh, man. What an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. His number three is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Oh, His number two is one of my top three favorite superhero movies of all time, Thor Ragnarok. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And his God eight. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! It's like Avengers, right? It's got to be Avengers. I forgot he's in Infinity yeah, War. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn it. Yeah, number one is Avengers Infinity War. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I forgot Sorry. that entirely. Obvious. That's so yeah, obvious. That's obvious. You still got a shot of this, Joe. Don't panic. <laughs> yeah, tell Joe DeRosa not to panic. Good job. <laughs> Who went first that Joe, last, be calm. last round? Joe, be calm. I was first that time. Okay, so uh, you're right, Joe. You don't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, you actually might. I mean, it could be anybody's game. But we start with Adam. Yeah. Then we go to Chris and then to Joe. The films scored. Ugh. Boo! By Danny Elfman. Oh! That is Ooh. bold. What do you think, Adam? <sighs> oh, God. Um. Everybody's muttering. He's done the score for 50 films at least. Oof. Yeah. The Dark Knight? 
Okay. Did he score that? I don't think so. <laughs> the Dark Knight. Let me finish my sentence. Was a great movie. <laughs> Danny Elfman. Oh, we can't just talk about movies mid-game. Um, <laughs> well, you already, you already, you already guessed. Right. Um, that's, that's your guess. Fuck. You have two points, Ooh. so you still could win this. Great. Joe? I'm go- uh, oh, Joe. sorry. No, no, no. no sorry. Is that the right order? I don't know the order. No, you're next. Yeah, I was mine. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Sorry, Chris. Go. I'm going to... Oh, boy. Batman? The Tim Burton Batman? Woo! The fuck is that? Fucking Tim Burton's Batman, man. Oh, yeah. He's a Burton guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe? I'm going to throw a wild one here. Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. I was... Cons- oh, so he's strictly burdened. <laughs> it's adjusted for inflation, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now that I know it's mm-hmm. Burton, can I give another guess? What? No. Just asking. What's your, what's your other guess? Uh, Oz. Ooh. The powerful... The, the Mila Kunis Oz. That's not a Tim the Burton. The Mila Kunis Oz? <laughs> Didn't he do that? Danny Elfman did. Tim Burton did not. I don't know how you got that. <laughs> Who did it? Tim, Danny Elfman did score it. Tim Burton did not direct oh, it. Oh, okay. Sam Raimi directed that. But you go, can I guess now a Tim Burton yeah. movie? And you managed to say a movie that's not Tim Burton, but Danny Elfman did score. I don't, I don't know how the fuck that just happened. That's very impressive. Yeah. How is that? Also, not your guess. Oh, okay. I just want to make that clear. Just want to make that also, clear. he scored a lot of movies that aren't Tim Burton. Tim yeah, Burton. I know, but I just went... <laughs> yeah. No, Adam just, just <laughs> thought he had to name a Tim Burton movie, though. Well, you, you guys both went Burton, so I was like, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, chances are good if it's a Burton movie, he did yeah. it. No, 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 yeah. But Adam <laughs> thought Oz was a Burton movie, and it's not. <laughs> well, not but with that Andy attitude. <laughs> <scored it. laughs> it feels like it because of the Alice in Wonderland movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fuck. All right, so that doesn't count? Nope. All right, then I'm going with New York Minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, stick with Oh, what if he just did score that for, that for some weird Oingo Boingo art credit that he was trying to work on? He's like, it's Cumberbatch's first film. I got to do it. Coming in at number three, The Forbidden Zone. No. Uh, <laughs> Number three is Spider-Man 2. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a good one. Guess what number one is? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. It. Sure, no the one first it. No Spider-Man. One it. But coming in at number two is one that was named by someone on this stage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Joe, how confident do you feel? What did you even I say? Feel, I forgot. I'm here's drunk. why I feel co- a nightmare, nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Here's why sense. I feel that's comfortable good, good, or confident good. in it. I just saw that movie with a live orchestra and Danny Elfman at the yeah, Hollywood man. Bowl. That was great. I was there too. That makes wow. sense. That makes and sense. it played for several nights. So Number I one is Batman! <laughs> so I'm confident. I feel confident. You should. Be you, Batman. Should. you should. You should. Adam, how are you feeling? <laughs> I mean, just, you know, in general, pretty good. Your, your final answer was New York Minute? <laughs> no, my fi- I'm going to go with Oz, if I can really get yeah, yeah, yeah. a real uh, answer. Yeah, you sure. can't even name the title of the movie. The Powerful the Kunis Oz. No, uh, the, the Rich and Powerful <laughs> Richie Rich 2. What the fuck was it? it was, no, it's The Great and Powerful Oz. Number nope. two is Batman! Let's wrap this up. I got to pee. <laughs> Good job, dude. All right, so we've got a tie what? between Adam and Chris, two points each. <laughs> oh, okay. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so sorry, Joe. You have to sit this next part out. It's okay. But hang out because we want to talk to you a little bit at the end. Okay. <laughs> Adam and Chris? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm going to name another actor. Okay. You're each going to name a movie. All right. At the same time. Got it. If you say the same movie, whoever said it first gets that movie. Got it. Whichever movie between the two that you say ranks highest 
in the top ten of this actor's list, uh -huh. oh. it's going to be the winner today. I know. It's fucking it's, tense. It's wow. super fucking tense. You guys can do this. I need you each to name a film from the career of Jim Carrey. The Mask. Dumb and Dumber. Great job, both Ooh, of you. That's a good, that's a good head to head right there. I like yeah, it. Yeah, you both went super Fuck. fast. Should have said Bruce Almighty. Super fast. Coming in at number 10, Lemony Snickers of No, can we jump to three? Why are we starting at 10? Guys, it's a great list. I think you're right. You know? Number one. It had cameras. How the Grinch Stole X-Men. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, Batman Forever. For what you know, for the time being. And guess who did that soundtrack? Seal. <laughs> Elfman lost that one. Number three, Bruce Almighty. Fuck. Yeah, should have gone. Not Bruce. He's all righty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number four, liar. No comma. Ooh, liar. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Crushed. That movie was huge. Yes. Yeah. But coming in at number five oh and creating a winner for us today is a movie called Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. USA. 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 Hey, please, please don't clap. Don't chant USA when you're chanting against the black guy. That feels uncomfortable. It feels uncomfortable in this day and age. Oh, come on. They're not against you. They're just for Adam. Yeah, yeah. And you picked the movie that came in at number six. God. Oh, wow. Yeah, you were right wow. there. You were right almost on it. The one dollar do. Yeah. Who? Where? Where's the person you were playing for? Where is... Uh, Madison-in-law. Madison-in-law. Come get your prizes. Prizes. Who would have dunk it? It all fit in one bag this time. That's very exciting. Congratulations, Madison. Good job. Good job. Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> she, she waved like we were on camera. Like it was a, I guess it's a TV show. <laughs> Great job, yeah. Madison. So you don't need that anymore. Great. You can get your name tag back if you want it. And uh, pass me those other name tags. And Joe DeRosa, tell us what's uh, what's going on. When Are you shooting the next season of uh, Better Call Saul yet? Uh, I don't know that yet. So I don't even know if they announced if it's renewed or not. So we're waiting oh, to hear. I think it's renewed. Yeah, I think I saw that. Oh, okay. I, I don't know until they... <laughs> I don't know until they bring me down. I think you down. also won an Emmy. <laughs> you, you might not have gotten the call. Uh, I will, if I can plug my podcasts, uh, We'll See You in Hell uh, movie podcast on the Starburns Network. Pat Walsh and myself reviewing movies. And then also Bill Burr and I do Uninformed, uh, which is Patreon only. Patreon.com slash Burr for Uninformed. Two episodes a month. Thank you. That's neat. Yeah, it's nice. We don't ever have guests on either, or I would have had you on by oh, now. Oh, no, no, that's cool. I figured that immediately. I thought, oh, they must not have guests. Yeah. <laughs> if my friends have a podcast that I'm not on. No, we literally have never had guests on either. <laughs> Chris Cubis. Uh, all my dates are on chriscubiscomedy.com. So over there, I got a bunch of dates showing up. Oh, I just booked, uh, I'm in, where am I? Oh, uh, GoDaddy's. Well, go bananas in Cincinnati uh, in April first week. Go of April. daddies. Go daddies. <laughs> a great club. A, a great URL. And then uh, I love go, I love go bananas. Go bananas. Great You're club. gonna have a great time. And then uh, check out my podcast canceled. We watch TV shows over the last one season. Thank you. Fuck yeah. We just finished the river. And we just started uh, 1996, the, uh, it's called Prophet with Adrian Pazdar. If you haven't seen that show, it's on YouTube. It's fucking wild. He fucks his mom in the first episode. That show's crazy. It's on Fox. You know how far ahead of the curve you had to be to be into incest porn in 1996? That's impressive. Wild. That's very wild. impressive. 
Adam. Uh, my podcast is called Battle Last Night. <laughs> what the fuck? Chris with the ill-timed mic drop. Um, I'm, uh, I voice uh, uh, She-Ra's sidekick talking horse on Netflix's She-Ra right now. Nice. And then, uh, and then I'm doing another cartoon with uh, Seth Green and the Robot Chicken guys on Hulu coming out soon called Crossing Swords. It's like a claymation, uh, you know, R-rated medieval times show, uh, which is hilarious. And then my tour dates are AdamRayComedy.com. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to Firefest in 2025. <laughs> Chumba Wumba is headlining. <laughs> Doug Loves Movies is coming for the first time to Comedy Off Broadway in Lexington, Kentucky on Tuesday, May 7th at 7.15 p.m. Thank you to Hyenas. Thank you to you guys. Thank you to all of my guests. Joe DeRosa, Chris Cubis, and Adam Ray. And as always, Tom Brady is a shithead. This will be interesting, because I picked this other one because I thought it'd get a bigger reaction, but maybe not. We'll see. Ted Cruz's shitty beard is a shit. <laughs>